Enceladus has geysers at its south pole. It has what almost are the equivalent of geothermal geysers on the Earth. These geysers take things from the interior of the moon. How deep is, is some debate, but you know, it might be 100 feet or it might be 1,000 feet, we're not sure. But that material comes out and is then trapped in, in orbit around Saturn so that there's a ring of material uh, following Enceladus's orbit around Saturn. If you can measure that material, then that tells you something about you know, what's coming out from, from deeper down in Enceladus. There are models for these icy satellites, some of which seem to indicate that there's an ice layer and underneath there's like a, either a slushy ocean or a real more liquid kind of an ocean. So on Enceladus, is there some ocean where material is coming out through the crust and that's what's coming out in these geysers? We don't know for sure. So uh, Alma will be able to quite accurately measure the abundances of the different kinds of molecules that are in that, you know, that ring of material around Saturn. And because it has such fine resolution, we'll actually be able to make an image of Enceladus and right over where the geysers are, we'll have you know, the resolution to see precisely what's in that area, what's coming out, what the temperatures are again, what the, the abundances are of the materials that are coming out.